the magical paintbrush and the talking paintings. Once upon a time in a quaint little village nestled between rolling hills and lush forests, lived a young boy named Leo. Leo had always been fascinated by art and spent his days sketching and doodling on every surface he could find. He loved to explore the woods, discovering new creatures and hidden gems of nature that he would later immortalize in his drawings. One sunny afternoon, while Leo was wandering through the woods, he stumbled upon an ancient and overgrown pathway. Curiosity peaked, he decided to follow it. After a long walk, he reached a clearing where an old, dilapidated cottage stood. The cottage seemed to whisper stories of forgotten times and held an air of magic that captivated Leo's imagination. Upon entering the cottage, Leo's eyes widened in amazement. The interior was cluttered with all sorts of objects, but what caught his attention was a dusty old paintbrush resting on a table. It was unlike any paintbrush he had ever seen. Its handle was carved from a silvery wood, and its bristles shimmered with an otherworldly glow. As Leo reached out to touch the paintbrush, a soft voice filled the air, Greetings, young artist. Startled, Leo looked around but saw no one. Then his gaze fell upon a series of paintings hanging on the walls, each depicting vibrant scenes of people, animals, and landscapes. To his astonishment, the figures in the paintings were moving, talking, and laughing. I am the magical paintbrush, the voice continued. I have been waiting for an artist with a pure heart and a vivid imagination. With me, you can bring your creations to life. Leo's heart raced with excitement. He picked up the paintbrush, feeling its power surge through him. His hands tingled with anticipation as he imagined all the wonderful things he could create. That night, Leo returned home with the magical paintbrush. As the moonlight streamed through his window, he dipped the brush into a pot of paint and began to paint a simple landscape. To his amazement, as he painted, the scene came to life. Birds flew across the canvas, and flowers swayed in the breeze. Leo's heart swelled with joy. Over the next few days, Leo continued to paint. He brought forth talking animals, enchanted forests, and magnificent castles. The village buzzed with wonder and delight as people gathered to see his magical creations. Leo was living a dream come true. However, as with any power, there were challenges. One day, Leo painted a mischievous sprite who jumped out of the canvas and began causing chaos in the village. With determination and quick thinking, Leo managed to coax the sprite back into the painting, learning an important lesson about responsibility. As time passed, Leo's fame spread far and wide. People came from distant lands to witness the wonders of his enchanted paintings. But amidst all the acclaim, Leo remained humble and kind-hearted. He used his gift to inspire and bring joy, painting scenes that celebrated the beauty of nature, the warmth of friendship, and the magic of imagination. One day, as Leo was exploring a distant valley, he came across an old woman sitting by a stream. She looked weary and sad. Leo struck up a conversation and learned that the woman was an artist too, once celebrated for her talents. But with time, 
people had forgotten her work, and she had grown lonely. Touched by her story, Leo painted a beautiful portrait of her. As he finished, he noticed a tear rolling down her cheek. To his astonishment, the tear turned into a shimmering droplet of paint that fell onto the canvas. The woman's image came alive, stepping out of the painting with a smile. Thank you for giving me a chance to be seen again, she said, her voice filled with gratitude. From that day on, the woman became a cherished friend to Leo, and they painted together, sharing their stories and wisdom. The village flourished with the magic of the talking paintings, spreading joy, inspiration, and connections between people. And so, the village lived happily ever after, basking in the enchantment of the magical paintbrush and the talking paintings, a testament to the power of art, friendship, and the beauty that lies within every stroke of the brush. And as the stars twinkled above, children drifted off to sleep with dreams of their own magical adventures in the world of art and imagination. As the years went by, Leo's reputation as a painter grew even stronger. He traveled to distant lands, using the magical paintbrush to create breathtaking murals that told stories of far-off places and mythical creatures. His creations were not only visual masterpieces but also bridges that connected different cultures and inspired understanding among people. The talking paintings became more than just beautiful scenes, they became messengers of wisdom and guidance. The village had transformed into a haven of art and creativity where people from all walks of life came to share their stories and learn from the magical tales within the paintings. One day, a group of young artists arrived in the village, eager to learn from Leo's expertise. He welcomed them with open arms, organizing workshops and mentoring sessions to help them unlock their artistic potential. The magical paintbrush which had been handed down through generations, continued to guide and nurture new talents, ensuring that the legacy of creativity endured. But even with all the success, Leo never lost sight of what truly mattered. He still found joy in painting simple scenes just for himself, capturing the beauty of everyday life. He would often venture into the heart of the forest, where he had first discovered the cottage and the magical paintbrush. There, amidst the whispering trees and babbling brooks, he would let his imagination run wild, creating new worlds and characters. As Leo grew older, he knew it was time to pass on the legacy of the magical paintbrush. He called together a council of artists and thinkers from around the world to decide the brush's future. After much discussion, they decided to create a sanctuary where artists could come to find inspiration, learn from each other, and use the paintbrush to bring their visions to life. The sanctuary, named the Gallery of Dreams, became a place of wonder and innovation. Artists of all ages and backgrounds came to share their stories and contribute to the ever-growing tapestry of creativity. The paintings on its walls continued to talk and enchant, passing on the lessons of the past and the dreams of the future. As for Leo, he spent his later years surrounded by loved ones, content in knowing that he had made a difference in the world. He would often sit by the fireplace, telling stories to his grandchildren about his magical adventures and the incredible power of art to transform lives. And so, 
The tale of the magical paintbrush and the talking paintings continued to be told through generations. It became a legend that inspired young artists to pursue their passions, to embrace their uniqueness, and to use their creativity to make the world a more beautiful and harmonious place. And as the stars twinkled in the night sky, the village, now a bustling center of art and culture, remained a testament to the enduring magic of the paintbrush, the power of imagination, and the everlasting impact of a single boy's journey from a humble village to a realm of enchantment and inspiration.